Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back downtown Head of Paphos on a truly spectacular day indeed. Feast your eyes and digest. The chopsimopsiness is almost over. There are people in bikinis. There are people about to descend into that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. It's a truly spectacular day in the second week of March. And of course, on top of all of that, I have brought with me the most beautiful woman in the world, and her name is Miss Ochi Gracivia Labuth. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. What do you think of the weather? Well, the weather today is just to die for. You're looking outside and you see a little bit of chopsimopsiness of the sea but it doesn't really mean anything. As long as the, as the sun is shining and as long as there is nothing dripping on the top of your head, all it's wonderful. It's just to die for. But don't die alone. Let's do it together. So there we go. You've heard it from Ms. Ochin Brasivi Labu. The weather is exceptional. And we're now going to give you the weather forecast as we traditionally do. In fact, yesterday we got to sit down with some superstars in the Royal Cafeteria and Restaurant. Their names were Miss Dawn and she has a husband called Mr. Sean. And a while back they stole a cat from Cyprus and her name is Miss Daisy. They've also got a dog called Bobo. And if you're curious to know what the weather is, it's around about 24 degrees and it's mid-afternoon in downtown Paradise, which of course is the downtown Cotopapos Harbour and Promenade area. Feast your eyes and digest. And I would like to tell you how lovely family we've got. Every single of yours and this Mr. Sean and Miss Dawn and their own lovely animals, Bobo and Daisy. Actually, they are amazing. What I've seen of them, it was wonderful. The people are really, really magic people that we've got. And it was a great pleasure for me and especially for, for Mr. Paul to spend a lovely time together with you. Thank you for that. Thank it you was much. indeed, yeah. They touched our hearts, Thank they you. trust our souls. There's girls going into the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea over there. We understand that perhaps it's a little bit cool. So let's watch as they get frolicking around. And slowly, but there she goes. Off she goes. That's the first one launching. The friend is plucking up the courage. And I think she's going to go in very, very soon. Oh, she's thinking about it. She's pondering. She's getting brave. She's coming back out. Oops, there we go. She's in. Spectacular day in downtown Paphos. We're on the Paphos promenade and there's people having a wonderful, wonderful time indeed. So, if you're looking for that special, special place to come, Paphos has to be at the very, very top of your list. If you're coming here for a weekend, a week, a fortnight, or even the rest of your life, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because we all are crazily waiting just for you shall we follow your ear and as you guide us down to the lower area of the promenade and the very very stars indeed that's the dancing pirouetting professor known as misochin grisivia labush Are you going to climb and that tree? It's quite all right. Sorry? Are you going to climb that tree? Oh, I have already bruised You've that. already bruised yourself. There we are. So, we're getting down to the Keda Paphos Promenade. It's the very, very start of it now. Very and there's some there. luxury apartments there called Porto Paphos. If you want to buy a multi-million euro apartment, that could be the special one for you. That's the Pizza Hut with a spectacular view across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And that is the Cafe Nero. Next door to that is the Altea All Day Breakfast Lounge. And what you're looking at now is the Banya. Although Grisivia Le Booth is thinking about stealing someone's Segway. But I don't know how to... I haven't got a clue. But uh, the three men running up from over there. So if I was you, I'd leave them alone. 
There we are, Grand Theft on the Cato Pathos Promenade, that's for sure. Have a look at that. That's what it's all about, the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. As we're saying, there's a little bit of chops in a still in that water. The waves are still crashing down on the kind of Paphos Harbour and Promenade area. But as we showed you, there are people in that blue sea and those people are having a great, great time indeed. It would appear that Grisivi Elabouf is about to mount the leg splitter. Let's go and see what she's got to say. You know, I love the sea when it's in this situation. There's nothing can be better. The sea has to be a little bit naughty and we have to have an eye uh, to watch this lovely movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. It is. It's like a real life movie if you understand us. Come and stand on the Cato Pathos Promenade. Come and work out on some of these machines and you get to look at a truly, truly spectacular view out across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And on top of all of that, of course, Grisivia Le Bouffe likes to give you a good view of her rear end, that is for sure. Spectacular day, the sun is glistening down and there's no doubt about it, I don't think there's many places better than this in the second week of March. And the chopsy mopsiness in the weather, I think it makes it that little bit more interesting and that little bit more spectacular indeed. Pacific? As you see, now the sea is throwing the the goods, the seafood from the from itself and it's been only cleaned a few days ago and now the cheese and it's bringing again and again the seaweed which is It is indeed, yes. They only sea. cleared this part of the beach area down a matter of two or three days ago and uh, here it is again. That seaweed has been deposited. But don't worry, the guys from the municipality will be back again very, very soon indeed. Wow, look at that. Every time this sea sees us, it wants to eat us, that's for sure. Absolutely spectacular. So let's commence on our walk towards the downtown Kedopapos promenade start. And this water is getting that little bit more violent, to be honest. Spectacular views of the coastline in downtown Paphos. And the sun, well, that's glistening down, that's for sure. Just over yonder is the municipality area. There are various little piers to allow you to transcend into the blue Mediterranean Sea off the rocks. There's changing rooms, there's areas to get showered, and of course there's toilets. And of course that is Miss Archie Ingress I could watch it hours and hours, just sitting here and watching at this uh, performance, the performance that the sea can do. It's like a live orchestra, isn't it? And you never know what it's going to do next as it kisses and laps the coastline of downtown Paphos. People will sit here for hours and feast their eyes because it is something to take your breath away. Let's pause for a moment and watch as Grisivia Le Bouffe enjoys the spectacality of the view. I really love it. And the smell, this salty smell of the sea, it's coming like, um, you know, uh, Medusa. Have you know, do you know the Medusa? Explain it. It's uh, in the sea. It's not a fish, but Medusa. It's, uh, it's like, um, no, there is no colour, it's like a jelly, jelly thing. Like a jellyfish, is jelly, it? Okay. Jelly thing, it's round. We call it medusa in Russian, I don't know in another. Medusa is medusa in many languages, but if it's stuck on you, in the water, you, it can burn you, you understand? So it, it like bites you, does it? Yes, it's like So it's like, like a jellyfish, I think. Yes. They sting, they sting you. Yes, yes. and then... I feel the Medusa, but in this sea, I've never seen Medusas. By the way, it's mostly in the Black Sea. Right. So, there we go. Little history lesson on what's swimming around in the ocean. We understand if you go out too far, there might be the odd shark or two. But to be honest, there's the odd shark in Paphos anyway, as there is in most tourist destinations. Can swimming the monkeys like me in here? Swimming the monkeys? <laughs> yes. 
but no, no medusa. No medusas, right. Here we are, start of the Cater Pathos Promenade. So stick with us. As you can see, there's some, uh, well, what do we call them? Some massive concrete divisions. The idea of these is to keep the workmen, the lorries, the vans, and the big diggers away from the people that are walking up and down the promenade. There are various bits of work going on to the rear of the promenade and various bits actually on the promenade. But we promise you in about five to six weeks, all of the works will be completed and Paphos Promenade will be better than it ever was before. And as you can see, hanging on that lamppost, well, that is now making us a smart city and we've won a massive award. We've come up again, up against all the other European nations and they have won the award. And uh, Cyprus, or Paphos in particular, has now won the City of Smart Tourism 2023. So stick with us as we continue to transcend down the Cater Paphos Promenade. And there's a lot of people around why? Because it's absolutely spectacular. If you're looking for a special place in the middle of March, Paphos has got to be the place for you. I must say that if, when you walk, you get in hotter and hotter. Of course, uh, that's logical because you move. But uh, for this time of the year, I think it's already hot. It is. To be honest, I think this time of year is marginally warmer than is traditional for this time of year. Shall we go out and see our little fisher friend and well, see what he's Mark got to say? Because he seems a little bit lonely on the yes, very, very edge there. Very so we'll follow the rear end of Miss Oching Vesivi Alibu. Hopefully you're enjoying the beauty of the views because this is the downtown Cater Papua seafront on a spectacular day and we're only in the second week of March and as I've told you the temperature is around about 22-ish degrees there's our little fisher boy receiving the booth is going to mother him our little fisher boy our favorite boy which is standing all the time here and waiting for us and many people like to make a pictures with him I have some pictures with him too and I would like to tell you many many things for your time, for your lovely attention, and for your nice regards. And don't forget that we're loving you too, and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. What's left me to say is thanks for watching, and of course if you do like what you see, why not hit the like, click subscribe, and come back for a little bit more of our madness. And if you want to help the channel to grow, if you want to support the channel, why not click through to our about page where you could consider to buy us a coffee or two. That's how the channel is funded. Thanks very, very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next one on an even more spectacular day in downtown paradise. I told you, Mr. Paul. Thanks for watching.